Hey guys, I hope you are very well and thank you for sending me the file. Now this is a big job and we've had difficulty with making die spacer at um, thick spaces, say 0.35 or 0.4. So I have adjusted a few little scripts to accommodate this. Also I want to show you something else that I've put in. We'll just wait for this. Okay, so let's go at 0 0.35. Let's or actually make it let's let's make it excessively. Let's make it 0 0.4 millimeters thick just to see if this works. Accept the spacer. And then as usual we have to follow through this step. So it's just thinking a little while because there's so much to, to remesh. Let's do the other one, the spacer. And we can accept that one as well. Okay, so this works now. It got stuck, it went into edit mode beforehand. But it seems to be okay now. Then what, what we're going to do is we're going to generate crowns. And I just wanted to show you, so let's just look at the restorations. And of course the green is in front of us. So we can put it behind us or I'm just going to leave it um, for now. The teeth have been sort of okay remeshed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the alt alternate teeth. And this is for good reason because I want to remesh these. I want to generate them all in one go. Now I can't use adjacent teeth because adjacent teeth, the mesh is going to find the closest, the closest um, edge loop to go to when when creating these. So um, if we have a very close here, for example, then this one can jump to that one and we don't want this happening so but if the teeth are spaced apart like this so I've got every alternative teeth now let's remesh and see what uh, let's let's generate these and see what happens so this takes a while to um, think because there's just so much going on at the moment I'll just put it on pause all right so that took a while to think but it's actually done the job, which which is really, really surprising. It's joined them up and it's generated crowns all in one go. Also, I want to show you how forgiving this actually is because it's taken it from the margin. Now, I'll show, demonstrate again here now. So this one is far away from the margin. This one is far away from the margin. So again, I'm going to pick all the alternate teeth like that. And again, this one's also quite far away from the margin. So this only then this saves a lot of time as well because it's you only have to press two times as opposed to every single tooth. So let's see how forgiving this actually is now. Okay, so let's generate the lower crowns. Again, this can take like maybe a minute. So just let it do its thing, uh, just be patient. I'll just maybe pause, or actually I'm going to let it run. Good, okay, so maybe under a minute or something. So you can see how it's actually jumped to the, the margin, which is really awesome. I'm stoked with that. Now, these are all joined, so you have to find the separate button to separate these. Let's have a look at the inside, control I and hide. And um, so we've got the insides all 
all cut out, we can see the um, we can see how it has made our die spacer cut on the inside on each and every one. It's quite quite a big cut. So um, yeah, I'm quite excited about this. Uh, um, awesome. Okay, thanks.